Hello YouTube, Farmer Son Prepping here. So uh, today, I would like to. Uh, I'm out in the shed. It's raining, or it's about to rain. Storm here. Hey, buddy. Uh, the dogs just came in. Today, I want to discuss tackle boxes. Tackle boxes are a prepper's best friend, y'all. Uh, I can't tell you how many tackle boxes I've pulled out of the trash. Uh, and there's all they're always useful to me. I always find useful things to do with tackle boxes. Um, so let me see. Um, show you kind of the difference here. Uh, recently, I started updating my tackle boxes in my fishing stuff. Uh, they've come out with the thin ones now. I'm going to try to show y'all what I'm talking about. These are the thinner tackle boxes now. So instead of, maybe I'm too close to the camera, but uh, instead of getting four in my tackle bag, now I can get eight of the thinner ones in there. And they hold, you know, I get to hold more fishing stuff. Worms, hooks, that kind of stuff. So, uh, today I'm going to show you some of the things I use tackle boxes for. Uh, and I've got some that aren't really being used really fully, uh, but uh, I don't throw tackle boxes away. And uh, we'll talk about it some. Let me grab you here. All right, over here. This is an older tackle box, one I pulled out of the trash. Um... Forgive the light. It may not be very light in here. But, uh, you know, screws, washers, things like this. Uh, you know, watching my dad as I grew up, he never threw a screw away. Uh, he'd, he'd find somewhere some little tin can to put all of his screws in. Because you don't never know what kind of screws you're going to need. So, uh, this, this one's a double-sided... As you can see, it's got two sides on it there. It's an older type model. And this one doesn't really have the best clasp on it, but it sits on the shelf up here 90% of the time, so it don't bother me none. These are um, spider wire. Yeah, spider wire tackle boxes. Again, pull these out of the trash, y'all. Uh, you know, deck screws, um, little bitty brass screws, uh staples for my air stapler uh you know carpenter pencils you know um things you may need to repair or build something i don't know why there's a candle in there but hey a little randomness you know whatever uh but yeah tackle boxes they have their uses uh here's another one now, in this one here, I store a lot of my Dremel tool accessories in here. Uh, I store them up here as well. These are the ones I use the most up here, y'all. So, but I also use uh, tackle boxes to store extra polishing wheels, extra cutting wheels. See here? I use these cutting wheels like the most. So, uh, I, you know, there's an extra little uh, screw down piece to tighten it up. These things here, I use these a lot. The little sanding things you put on. So, uh, and then here we got nails. You know, finishing nails, more finishing nails. Uh, Recip saw blades. <laughs> these have about had it, as you can tell. Saw saw blades, whatever you want to call them. So, yeah. Uh, taco boxes have just a myriad of uses. I've got all kind of stuff in these things. Here's a drill bit of all that don't even need to be in there. Look, I just found a drill bit. That's not supposed to be in there. Anyway, I'll put it up here next to my little drill bit things here. Uh, so yeah, this is a little, uh, this one here, uh, this taco box here was given to me. Um, it had some rust in it. Uh, the angler that gave it to me, my brother-in-law. He's like, well, it's got rust all in it. And so he took the few lures that was in here out. He let me have some of the rest that were in here. 
But you know what? I took a, an old rag and sprayed some WD-40 in here and all the rust just wiped right out. These are the Z-Rust kind. Uh, Flambeau, I think this, yeah. Flambeau makes these Z-Rust, uh, I think that's the name of them. Anyway, uh, so if, even if you do get rust from hooks and stuff in here, you can basically just wipe it out. The rust doesn't attach itself to the plastic, really. This one here, look, different stuff. Uh, this one's a kind of a one I just recently made up for coin uh, or silver stacking stuff. I got coin flips in here. Uh, magnifying glass. God knows I need that. Just a little baggie that I put coins in, uh, you know, sometimes. Um, more coin flips. Different size coin flips. There's a bigger one, you know. So, uh, I got some tubes in here. Some, some you know, so, so uh, these, these are little, uh, I know what these are, but anyway, here's another little case of some sort in there. So, you know, these are, uh, coin, coin and silver stacking supplies in that one. This one right here, don't ask me why there's pennies in here, y'all. I really don't know. Uh, but I may, mainly, I keep all my dividers in here. So, not all the time will you use dividers in a tackle box like these right here. See these right here? These are extra worms and stuff. Or plastic soft baits. Uh, and I use this box here for extra. Because there are certain colors that I really like and I want to stock up on. Like uh, watermelon seed, watermelon red. Uh, you know, there are certain things that I like to stock up on as far as soft baits for fishing and all. Because they're uh, very productive for me in my area. So, you know, these are just extra soft bait soft plastics again another one right here just full of dividers a few extra bobbers in here corks again another candle you know uh i don't know why i do that but i'll throw a candle in something every now and then so yeah just different tackle boxes uh i know all of you uh let me flip this down right here I know all you FSP veterans recognize this. This is the farm fact. Uh, let's see if I can move this out of the way. Forget my old creaky floors in this old shed, y'all. Uh, so this is my farm fact. This is the one I recently made into a uh, farm security, or not, not security, but a farm first aid kit. In other words, a farm-sized first aid kit. Here I have chest seals, bleed stop. Y'all seen this before. Well, there's another video with all this. But uh, another way you can use a tackle box. Gauls, uh, you know. So, Israeli bandages. SWAT T tourniquet. Uh, so, you know, if you find... Y'all, my point, I'm sorry. This is going to be a long video, apparently. But my point is, if you find tackle boxes that have been discarded, y'all, pick them boogers up, okay? Pick them uh, tackle boxes up and uh, put a use to them. Because there's always stuff that I need to organize together somehow or another. This is my practice fire-making kit. Uh... This one recently, uh, my brother-in-law gave me this one. He was throwing it away when we were cleaning out his basement. This is the one that had rust in it. So uh, I put all my fire practicing supplies in here. There's some dry tinder in here as well. Uh, so yeah, everything is in here basically except for a furrow rod. I know where my furrow rod's at. But when I want to get out and practice making fires, this is my fire practice making kit. And it's got all my little fire goodies that uh, Penny Peach and Prepper sent me. So, yeah. So, uh, without dragging out this video, y'all. Uh, it's 10 minutes already. Good gravy. Uh, you know, uh, I've talked about it before. I'll talk about it again. Tools are very important. Uh, some deep well sockets over there. You know, uh, this is kind of a... Uh, my old cowboy hat. I wear this when I have to feed the cows or whatever when it's raining. It's a resist all uh, and boots. This is stuff I keep out in the shed because 
basically anywhere I go on the farm, I'm coming here to get on the four-wheeler first most of the time. So I keep all this stuff out here to keep me from tracking mud and stuff in the house. But here's my little board of uh, stuff. Um, remember, I found that at the trash dump. Sorry, y'all. Uh, you know, some OD green thread, uh, hacksaw blades, more uh, nails from a nail gun, sandpaper, plumbing stuff, um, you know, some um, sandpaper, those those plugs I bought the other day, okay, so uh, more plumbing supplies, PEX fittings, PEX pipe, so I keep a, I try to keep a good amount of uh, things that I'm going to need to repair stuff or to build something. You know, again, back to the nuts and bolts and screws and that type of thing. There's my old draw knife up there. Uh, you know, just a little putty knife. You know, just all kind of odds and ends. But it's important to, to have what you need. Uh, since we're in here, you know, this is a uh, butane. I got uh, some propane up there. This is kind of my little uh, camping slash survival section over here, the tent. That's a dog toy hanging up there. Uh, so I got some wire hanging there and, you know, some different stuff, files, more tools. I would right there. So, uh, you know, and I've got lawn and garden stuff in here. You know, you, you'll just find a plethora of stuff in here, y'all. Uh, things for my air compressor. Uh, this is an old antique I found. It's an old uh, torch. You pump it up, you know, pump up torch. So, uh, bird, old bird feeders that, that are not in use. You know, uh, extra jackets hanging up there in the corner. Gas cans. Uh, I got a lantern hanging up there. It's full and ready to go. I put a bag over it trying to keep the dust off of it, but I think my bag's done ripped. These are my waders that I use. Uh, or not waders, but uh, my rain suit that I use when we go bass fishing tournaments and stuff. Uh, there's my hammock right there and my straps. So, just a plethora of things in here, cat litter, uh, that toilet seat's in here somewhere, I can't remember where I put it, the, the new toilet seat I bought recently, right here, it's right here, right there, uh, this is water filters, I think, no, this is, uh, those, what is that, six mil trash bag liners, 55 gallon drum liners that I bought, uh, you know, all... Gun, uh, gun clean stuff, paint. This is where two of those tackle boxes go. They slide up in there. My drills and uh, impact. And uh, my recip. So your tools are very important uh, for self-sustainability. I, I struggle saying that word, y'all. But uh, there's a, I got a torch up there uh, that I use sometimes. Recharging my stuff. Look, another. Look, I forgot about this one. Another tackle box. I use this for uh, when I do painting. I make signs and stuff sometimes. Uh, this one has paint brushes and uh, colored pencils in it and stuff. So, yet again, another tackle box. I forgot all about that one until I just looked up there. Again, some of these latches ain't the best, y'all. But, uh... They work. All right. I think that's enough, Rocco. 14 minutes. Good gracious. Uh, I got a line more up under there. Put up for winter time. My Arctic cooler. So anyway. Uh, let me spin you back around here. God bless you is my prayer. This is Farmer Son prepping. It's like we're fixing to get a storm here. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye.